So then guys, all you iPad users can finally rejoice. It looks like that iPad OS 19 is going to get the love that we've been wanting to have inside of this operating system for many years now, making iPad OS more like Mac OS. Obviously not making it completely like Mac OS, obviously still separating it out, but obviously if we've got the likes to say the iPad Pro with the M4, we've got the iPad Air with the M3, and obviously we've got all the previous generations with the M chips inside of these iPads. And not forgetting, of course, that we've also got the likes of, say, the iPad mini with the A17 Pro, and even like this iPad here with an A16, which has got still six gigabytes of RAM. We've been wanting to have much more from the operating system because the hardware is definitely there and definitely giving us enough power, but it just seems like we've just got a modified version of iOS. And essentially that is what iPad OS has been like but like I said the great news is it looks like we're going to be getting some big upgrades with it and in fact there's four of them that I want to talk about today starting out with number one According to Mark Gurman, as you can see right here, it looks like that one of the key areas where Apple wants to make improvements with iPad OS this year is all to do with productivity. So this means making more apps more universal to work on an iPad. At the end of the day, like I said before, essentially the hardware that's inside of this is very similar to like we've got like in MacBooks, for example, because we share the same sort of M3, the M4, the M2, the M1, like in a Mac. MacBook Air and the MacBook Pros. So why can't an iPad actually take advantage of this? And it looks like that Apple are going to push in productivity here. So this means that we're going to probably get probably even more apps compatible that are available on macOS to work potentially backward compatible, even say crossover compatible with say your iPad. And funny enough, that also leads on to something else what Mark Gurman talked about. And he even said that we're going to get improved multitasking here with say the iPads. And so what this essentially means is if you've tried to do multitasking right now with an iPad, it's a little bit complicated to actually enable. Obviously, if you're doing it day in, day out, all the time, you probably get used to it, how it works and everything. But to be honest, it's not not the easiest of things to work with. So it looks like finally that you know Apple are gonna make say multitasking even easier to work on your iPad. Maybe it might work a bit more like say a Mac OS kind of sort of version where for example that you'll have say the background and maybe sort of separate windows or something like this. So this does look like it's quite exciting that actually Apple are gonna make some upgrades here. And funny enough that also leads on to the third upgrade that we've heard about from Mark Gurman again confirming that with iPad OS 19 that we will also be getting say a better sort of stage management sort of center or that sort of area. Remember that we had um, Stage Manager introduced a couple of years ago and to be honest it wasn't the best out there. It was you know it's okay that you can sort of flip around with your apps and things like this but you know it's not the best kind of sort of version out there and it looks like that there's going to be say a Stage Manager 2.0 here so yeah this is really really exciting to see that we're going to be getting the upgrade there. Now moving on from this for the fourth upgrade it looks like that all of these kind of upgrades that Mark Gurman has you know talked about these three that Majin Boo says that all of these will be enabled once you connect up say your iPad to a keyboard and trackpad and even the potential that will have say a very similar kind of menu bar at the very bottom but what I would say with Majin Boo just be careful that obviously the leaks are hit and miss when he comes around from him so yeah it kind of does make sense what he's saying here but this is obviously linked into everything else what's going on with iPad OS 19 this year. But if you're still a fan of Mac OS, well, I have some good news because of the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. That's right, guys. At the end of June time, so after WWDC, I'm going to be giving away this MacBook Air M4 that you see right here to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And you can still enter into this giveaway right now. All you have to do is just put down into the comments below of what technology devices you're hoping to get in 2025. This could be Apple related or not. So it could be say a new iPad, it could be a new iPhone, it could be say a DJI drone, or maybe it's gonna be the Nintendo Switch 2 that also comes out in June time. Well, let me know in the comments below. And the second part of the giveaway will be happening near the end of June time where I'll be making a video 
giving you more details about it, including when I'm going to do the live stream to give us away. And also there will be a form to fill in too around that time. So you won't want to miss out on that video. So the best thing that you can do right now is to subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss out on that video. The last thing I just want to quickly say to you guys that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, direct message. Please do ignore these people. Best you can see right here. Please do report them. So next of all then, what about the availability of this new iPad OS 19? And also what devices are most likely going to be compatible? Well, personally, in my opinion, even though it's not been official yet, I think that the next version of iPad OS, the bare minimum device it'll probably be able to run on is probably one of these that you're seeing right here. This here obviously is the, you know, the updated 11th generation iPad with the A16 inside of it. And I also believe say the likes of say the iPad mini with the A17 Pro will also be compatible. And also the likes of all of the iPad Pros and iPad Airs that have an M chip inside them. So M1 all the way up to M4. They will also be compatible. But personally, I do think that the likes of say the ones with the iPad Pro with the had the A12 X, the A12Z inside of it, they probably will not be compatible and also older iPad minis and I'd even say the 10th generation iPad what has now been retired, you know, from being sold probably won't also get the update for this. But when the likelihood we're gonna get it is obviously the first beta is probably gonna come out on the likes of June the 9th, the same day we're getting the first day of WWDC 2025. But personally, I would not download that version because it's probably gonna be full of bugs. But you know, you can get that. There'll be a developer sort of beta out there. But I would probably be waiting around at least for one or two public betas. And more than likely, the first public beta will come out the end of June time 2025 but I would probably be waiting for a public beta say the end of July kind of time at the earliest if you're going to use it on your primary device because like I said it will be full of bugs but if you want to play it safe the best time will be to update is when it does officially come out what will probably be in September time 2025 what is really exciting to see but with this then guys are you excited for iPad OS 19 do you think at last it's going to get the love that it deserves well let me know your thoughts in the comments below and with that as well guys it's time to wrap up this video too so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye